Hey guys, so so many companies have come out with metallic lipsticks or metallic lip options, so I thought I would go through some of the ones that I enjoy using and kind of some of the differences between the different brands. So if you'd like to see what different metallic lip options are out there, then just keep watching. Okay, so if you guys are looking for some drugstore options, Milani released an entire line of Amore metallic lip creams. They changed their packaging between last year and this year, so the older ones are in a round tube and the newer ones are in like a square tube, and this is just three of them. I'll swatch them for you, but I believe these are about eight or nine dollars at the drugstore in the States. So I'll swatch these for you. First, we have Materialistic, which a friend was nice enough to pick up for me since I couldn't find it at a store near me. This is the Milani Materialistic, and this one has like a vanilla icing or a cake batter flavor. It's really yummy. And these last a long time, which I like. My cat's trying to rub her tail all over me. Of course she is. The moment I put on some lipstick on my arm, she wants to get snuggly. <laughs> Alright, this next one is called Chromatic Attic by Milani. It's a nice, pretty, like, champagne-y color. And then this one, which I loved at Christmas time, is My Soulmate by Milani as well. It's like a nice, deep burgundy red color. These aren't as strong of a fragrance as the original formula, the ones in the round tube, but they have the same same longevity, the same lasting power, the same opaque quality. So these are a very nice drugstore option. If you want to stay with drugstore prices, but not necessarily drugstore, ColourPop had, has or had a line of metallic liquid lipsticks. I think I purchased three, but I've since then gotten rid of two of them because I didn't care for the color. But this one is a flitter, and it's like a pink gold duochrome metallic lipstick. Obviously, I haven't used it in a while. It's a little chunky. But for, I think, $5, I want to say. I mean, look at that color. It's beautiful. So, again, drugstore prices, but you have to purchase them online. And I do believe they have international shipping now, which is nice. Okay, then moving on to higher end, like Sephora Ulta brands. We have Smashbox, who recently released a line of metallic lipsticks. And I think it's really fun that they have like the gems on the top in the coordinating colors. And I have Moscow Mule, Mauve, Mauve Squad, and Petal Metal. This one is Petal Metal. That's the one I'm wearing today. And these have a nice kind of triangular tip, which is different. It's nice for lining your lips. I feel like this one is very similar to the Milani one. Next, we have Moscow Mule, which is like a nice coppery, almost like a coppery reddish color. I can't really explain it. It's not like penny copper. It's like a reddish copper. It's really pretty. These have a slight like a slight floral scent, I want to say, but nothing overpowering. And then finally, Mauve Squad, which is also really pretty, but this one's more on the cool tone. Obviously, it's more mauve than pink or peach. And these are a little bit glitter glitterier. They look like they have like tiny micro particles of glitter than these are. And then also at Ulta, or you can find them at MAC stores, are the MAC Metallic Lipsticks. So if you don't love the liquid lipstick formula and you love the cream lipstick formula, then MAC has a line of metallic lipsticks. I believe they're limited edition, but they should still be available. Um, I have a whole collection if you guys would like to see my lip swatches of the entire MAC metallic lipstick collection. I will put an info card here or list it down below or you can search for it. It'll be there. This one is Cold Front. It's a really pretty like lavendery blue lipstick has the same formulation as all of the MAC lipsticks. That same like cocoa buttery smell that I love. And then another one from that collection, this one is In Lust. This one's more of like a champagne-y peachy color. But still, really, really pretty. And these I think are $17. And then finally, if you wanna try a different brand, like a more high-end brand that I can only find online, but I believe they're at a few higher-end department stores, possibly Neiman Marcus. I Don't quote me on that. They're the Kevin Aquan um, Metallic. 
I don't know if they're called lipsticks or lip glosses, the Molten Lip Color. Here we go. You guys can try the Kevin Aquan Molten Lip Color line. There's a whole bunch. I'm just going to show you two from this line as options for you. Again, they have the triangular tip similar, similar to the Smashbox. And these are more of like a metallic gloss than a liquid lipstick. This one is bronzed because it's a bronze color. And then this one is titanium. It's like a silvery color. That one's, yeah, like a silver. Can you see it? And Kevin Aquan also has like a more lip topper option than a metallic lipstick, which I will show you. They also have like these molten lip color, but it's not so much a lip color by itself. It's more a lip topper. And this one is the shade Cyber Sky. And you can see it's like a duochrome purpley blue. So this one's more a lip topper than a liquid lipstick or liquid lip metallic lip color in my opinion but still really pretty, really fun. It's like a very iridescent blue color. So here are your metallic lip options. We have the liquid lipsticks from Milani. We've got the ColourPop metallic liquid lipsticks. We have the Be Legendary metallic lip products from Smashbox, which I believe also stay like tacky like a gloss. We've got the metallic lipsticks from MAC Cosmetics, and finally we have the molten lip products from Kevin Aquan. I hope you guys enjoyed this metallic lip video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.